These have got to be one of the most blatant ripoffs of the AirPods Pro that I have ever seen. There is nothing on here to indicate any kind of branding whatsoever. Wow, Bluetooth 5, 30 meter connecting distance, 30 minute charging time, somewhere between five and six charges from the case and three hours per charge. All right, fair enough. Oh, that's weird. The manual has what looks like kind of like iOS like screen grabs, but the font's not right. It apparently features touch control just like regular AirPods Pros. Man, if these sound good, I could probably be convinced to swap them out. They even charge via lightning connector. That is, whoo! If this lightning cable is anything to go by though, I am not expecting the build quality to be exceptional. That is some cheap molding and some cheap plastic. Even the USB housing is not quite flat. It's a little bit bowed. Other accessories include a couple of, well, I was gonna say different sized ear tips, but these actually all look like kind of the same size-ish. Oh, no, it's subtle, it's subtle. These are smaller and these are bigger. Both of these kind of look too big for me. So hopefully the smalls are what are pre-installed. Now we don't look at a lot of, you know, rip off products, you know, fake iPhones, fake iPods, things like that over on the main channel. That's just not really our jam. So I'm not the most experienced when it comes to spotting the problems with these kinds of things, but I do have a fair bit of experience just with electronics in general. And I gotta say, if someone told me these are black AirPods and these are, you know, Apple authentic ones, until I flipped up the top of the case anyway, uh, I would have said, yeah, that's pretty convincing. I just found a problem. A real Apple product wouldn't have had this grill just peel up right out of the box. My fake ones? Hey, this case looks and feels a little cheaper, actually, now that I play with it. Hold on. Yeah, that's a different sound. See that? But also, Look at this. Is this grill just a sticker? I think that grill is just a sticker. <laughs> Definitely not a sticker on the real AirPods Pros. What that means for the active noise canceling capabilities of these, if they have any at all, remains to be seen, but that that is a sticker. There are no markings on the case whatsoever. Now you'd be forgiven for thinking Apple doesn't really have any markings on the AirPods Pros, even ignoring that I have a dbrand skin on them, but yet you can see in here, all the like FCC logos and crap that they need to have on here. Not so on these black ones here. I gotta say the matte black soft touch case feel, actually feels pretty pleasing. Pretty pleasing to the finger. My finger is pleased. Fit and finish, not up to the original standard. With my fingernail, I can get in there and kind of create a separation. It's already loose down there at the bottom. You see that? Wait a second. Wow, these aren't even that cheap. So I just finally went on the manufacturer website for these. These are BatPods Pros and they are marked down from $250 to $100 and apparently have 172 reviews averaging five stars on the manufacturer website. Yeah, I'm sure that, you know, that's entirely, entirely honest. BatPods, I should have done the whole video like this. They're still great movies, but wow. Why did he have to talk like that? Quality, clear sound with noise cancellation. They claim to have noise cancellation. They also claim to have wireless charging. Can I get a wireless charging pad? Just wanna figure out if this other grill on the back here is also a sticker real quick here. What do you think, Brandon? Sticker? Sticker me. Now let's have a look at, oh, interesting. The ear tips are more of a conventional mount. So you've got like a little flanged uh, tip here, and then it's just like a, a silicone thing that slips over it. Those who are familiar with Apple's AirPods Pros will know that it, they use kind of a, like an interlocking plastic system here. So you gotta kind of clip it on there and then it flops over like that. I'll just use a standard Anchor wireless charging pad here to validate their claims. And while I do that, I'm gonna tell you about our sponsor for today's short circuit, Display. 
Displate makes high quality metal prints. They've got a ton of different designs, over 800,000 to be precise. They're super simple to get on and off your wall without leaving any marks. And we've even got our own designs, which you can check out at the link in the video description. So thank you to Displate for sponsoring this short circuit. All right, well, the light definitely turned on. That was pretty pain-free. All right, it's, it's charging apparently. It's not as bright as the Apple LED. Of course, I think it's fair to say that for most people, it's gonna come down to sound quality. Are you in pairing mode? Now hold on just a minute here. Does someone else have their AirPods Pros in pairing mode? Or does this thing actually show up as AirPods Pro? Oh, weird. So it made a noise. I think I just powered it on, but there's no haptic feedback. The squeezable buttons are definitely working though. So I, I pressed and held this one on the right and you can see I was just prompted for which voice service I'd like to use. Google, obviously. Bixby, really? Uh, I mean, this is a quick and easy way for us to check out the microphone. Hey Google, I just wanna have a little chat about that time that I had a secret and I was talking about it in front of you and then, you know, fast forward way down into the future and you were all like, hey, you know, so we've been storing all that secret information about you and we're just gonna keep it on our servers forever. Does that sound all right? Well, if my dictation accuracy is anything to go by, that's actually not too shabby, hey? I'm pressing and holding the left stem and there's a little noise like a but I can't tell what it's doing. No, there's actually nothing in here about toggling noise cancellation on and off, which indicates to me that when they say noise canceling, they mean noise isolating not noise canceling. So there is no ANC. Time to listen to some music that I am uh, authorized to play. That's weird, the left one's not working. Okay, I'm gonna unpair these and I'm gonna try repairing them. I mean, if repairing them doesn't fix it, what chance do you have? Uh... Hey! Oh. So theoretically, you should grab onto these. And I heard both. Okay, we're good. But no, we're back to one. Dang it, I had one and then both and then one and then both for a while. We're back to one. Weird. Taking this one out seems to improve the situation over here. So I wonder if it's the in-ear sensor, which where even is it on this one? Like I know where it is on the AirPods Pros, but I can't tell where it is. Wait, they're both going. Okay, hold on, I'm listening, I'm listening. Yeah, they're, they're really muddy. These are very mediocre drivers in a low quality casing that happens to look a lot like AirPods Pros. Let me just fire up my AirPods Pros. Confirmed, they're a lot better. The base has some actual texture to it. Um, it, you can clearly discern anything that isn't base from the base. <laughs> of course, they don't cost the same amount. There's no way these ever actually go on sale for $250. So let's evaluate them as what they are. $100 wireless earphones. Let's see if we can pair to this iPhone instead. Wow, look at that. You've got battery indicators and everything just like you would on an original Apple product. Oh, I heard it for a second. These are terrible, like abominable. Okay, here's what I really wanna know at this point now though. Could I use a cool black case for my real air? You know what? I'm not doing it. I don't know what voltage this thing is spitting out. D brand, if you want different color AirPods. Thanks for watching guys. I'm sorry that was so disappointing. I really hoped I had good news for you. $100 black AirPods. I mean, they're not even heavy. Listen to them. They sound cheap. Okay, so do the Apple ones. Get subscribed. <laughs>